Hello my darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy. This time I'm reviewing the 13th Doctor comics from Titan Comics and these follow the 13th Doctor as played by Jodie Whittaker in the BBC television show. Um, writing on issues 1 through 5 that I'm reviewing is by Jodie Hauser with art by Rachel Scout and Enrique Aaron Ang Angolini. All the artists and uh, writers will be in the description below. Um, but I'm going to start with issue zero, The Many Lives of Doctor Who, which has writing by Richard Dinnick and has art by a lot of different people. don't know if autofocus will pick that up. Anyway, I'll list them down in the description. This one picks up with the Doctor mid-regeneration. So you don't even have to have watched the most recent series of Doctor Who and seen Jodie's run. In fact, kind of don't even need to see Capaldi's last episode. I mean, this is happening at the end of that regeneration, but also we're mostly looking at flashbacks of the Doctor's life through all of time and space, all the way back to the original Doctor. It's just an overview of who the Doctor is and what's important to this character that is constantly changing. So, like, physically and even slight personality changes happen with each regeneration, but some, but some parts of the Doctor are the same throughout. There are key characteristics about trying to help and trying to make the world better and save the universe, and having friends. So, like, we're starting off with the first Doctor, with Ian and Barbara and Susan. Um, and also, each of these regenerations has a different artist and a different art style, so that's constantly changing. But I still love it and think it looks amazing. Fourth Doctor, one with Ramana, is probably my favorite, just artistically, with its cartoon characteristics to it. I might have to like scan these and put these in here. Not doing so great at showing you guys. Still adjusting to the new phone and the new camera. Um, so, oh, like there's different art styles. We get to visit different companions. So there is like some themes about the gender swapping thing. There is a Time Lord in here somewhere that changes from a male to a female. We get to see somebody else do that. We also get to go visit um, Dr. Elizabeth Garrett Anderson, who was apparently England's first doctor, which A, I didn't know, but also it's really cool to see how the doctor um, had a role in that. Also, the companions aren't always ones that I know from the show, like the 10th doctor is not following with any of his companions that I recognize, but I think it's somebody from like the audio plays, maybe. Um, also, the 8th doctor's companion is also somebody from the audio productions. Each of them are roughly like four pages, like two two page spreads for each story. Um, so we go through these really quick. They're just kind of snapshots of where they've been. It doesn't look like they appear to be any specific episodes. Just this is what's happening in the Doctor's life and getting to like stop in and visit. Um, but they all end up painting this overall picture of what the Doctor is essentially and where the show is going. Um, so my favorite is probably this two-page spread where we've seen Jody regenerate, and it looks like an oil painting, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So, um, I definitely recommend finding this one and picking it up if you can. It's amazing and brilliant, but you also don't need to read this to go into the 13th Doctor's run. So, standalone, that is pretty much awesome, but you don't need it to uh, read the rest of these either. So the main run of the 13th Doctor's comics. These ones you probably should watch at least Jodie's first episode. They're happening somewhere in the middle of Jodie's first season and with her companions Yaz and Ryan and Graham. Issues 1 through 4 make up one storyline and I've got all the photo art for these. So not the standard covers, although the TARDIS is amazing. I love the TARDIS, she's my favorite. Um, so these ones, the Doctor runs into another set of time travelers who are using vortex manipulators, and they have run into this space crime boss in the far future who wants to take them hostage and manipulate them to get them to steal for him. And the Doctor ends up running into one of them and then trying to help save them and take down the big crime boss. Um, it's a really fun story arc, 
and like a good first entry for the doctor so this one's a fun run we're getting introduced into these characters still so i don't really like the facial expressions in this and the way people are drawn but the backgrounds are amazing and beautiful so i am torn between this art i think on the whole it's not my favorite I love how the companions, especially Yaz, take a leading role in this and saving the day. So then we also end up with pages like this one right here, which I think are just absolutely stunning and amazing. So that's why I'm kind of torn on the art. Like, I don't want to say that I hate it. Um, it's, not, it's not my favorite choice. Some of the doctor's expressions are really, really strange. Um, I don't know what's going on there. Each of these stories end up with like a climax and oh my gosh, what's going to happen? Cliffhanger. Uh, which is why I like waiting to have all of our arc together so that I can read it all at once. Um, this arc I would give a, a four star rating to. This one also probably four stars. Alright, issue five kicks off the second story arc. I only have issue five. Don't know the conclusion of the story arc, but it's looking promising. They end up going back in time. They are on Earth in, I think, England. In this place called Gilder and there are these wars happening in the 1500s which I didn't know anything about I don't know if this is a real war or if it's something they made up for the comics um, but they end up back in time and in this one instance the doctor is not the one who knows the history the best in fact the other three characters have all been listening to this podcast about the hidden gems of history and they're like oh no we know this time period this is so cool we get to visit and everything and they're the ones filling the doctor in with what happened historically which is kind of funny there's that i should show you guys the art so yeah um and then they end up in the actual town meeting this woman who is running away the doctor tries to figure out what's happening asks her some questions and she decides that, hey, actually, I'm pretty brave. You're right, Doctor. I'm going to help you. And the Doctor is like, I don't really need help from you, but okay. Um, until they end up finding out that there's actually, like, demons attacking in this war also. So something that was just this historical dispute between regions and, like, nobility trying to take over. Um, now there's apparently demons involved. I love the historical setting. I Like I said, I love the background in this comic run. Um, so, like, the settings are great. It's just the facial expressions that are not my favorite, um, which is weird. Normally, I pay more attention to the characters' faces than the backgrounds. So this is taking an adjustment to me to, like, shift where I'm paying attention to. Um, so I am definitely looking forward to the rest of the second story arc and finding out where we go next and also where the 13th Doctor is going in general. Also, I have decided to actually start a pull list. So I am going to be getting all of the 13th Doctor comics. I'm not sure if I'm going to review them all or not. I might just be like, hey, I reviewed the beginning, which is normally what I do. Um, so if you guys really want to know my thoughts on the rest of this run, or the following story arcs, or how this one completes, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, this might be it for the 13th Doctor. At least for comics. I still need to read her books. So, issue 5 also got a pretty solid 4 stars for me. Nothing in there that is like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. But I am definitely enjoying the run also. These are all comics that I've actually bought for once too, and didn't just check out the library. So that's also exciting. Something different for me. Spending my money on Doctor Who, though, is not different as evidenced by my Doctor Who shelves. So there is my review for the 13th Doctor comics, at least issues 0 through 5. Let me know in the comments below if you read any of these and what you thought of them. Have you been watching the most current season? What do you think of it? I've seen all of it through the New Year special at this point. And I love Jody. I love Yaz and Brian and Graham. Yaz is probably my favorite part, honestly. She's totally surprising, and I love her. So, also love Jody, obviously, and the TARDIS. Always love the TARDIS. Peace out. I love you guys, and keep reading. Bye.